Hey everybody, JC here. I got some new Rocket Electronics I want to show you guys. Not really an unboxing, but new to me anyway. So the first thing I got was this Jolly Logic Altimeter 2. So uh, there's three in the series. There's a one, there's a two, there's a three. Uh, the one is really basic. The two has a lot of flight information and the three is Bluetooth enabled. So let's pop open the box here. So it comes with a charging cable. It's like any USB-A to USB, the manual, and of course the altimeter itself. So physically looking at the altimeter, it's a rectangular. It's a little bit larger. Let me compare it to the Estes altimeter. So they're approximately the same size. Although the SC's altimeter, as you can see, is a little bit thicker here, but then it's got it does have rounded edges on it. And so let's see. So here I have a piece of BT20 body tube. The SD's does not fit in there. It's close. I mean, you could force it in there, but uh, it would distort the tube. Uh, the Jolly Logic does not fit anywhere close, okay, because of its rectangular shape. Uh, it does have rechargeable batteries, whereas the Estes has a replaceable battery. Uh, there's an on-off switch on the Estes and the Jolly Logic. You just press this button. Okay, the little Jolly Logic. It tells you what version it is. I believe it's upgradable. Huh, came fully charged. And then you can turn it off, on. And if you hold down the button, you can cycle through uh, various settings on it. So it says you flight zero. Okay, so I believe it has a whole range of settings you can see on it. So you can see top speed, apogee, ejection altitude, which is what most people are interested in, ejection time, coast to apogee, thrust time. So you can see there's a lot of information. It'll even tell you if it's uh, overloaded on the G's. So pretty nice. Uh, they're in California, is where the manufacturer is in Danville, California. I tried really hard to find the Jolly Logic 3, but uh, could not. Kind of like trying to find a Flight Sketch Mini. All right, pretty nice. Uh, it's nice it has a rechargeable battery. It was, uh, I think, about $50. Not bad, though. Okay. So let's put that aside for now. And the next piece of equipment I got was also from Jolly Logic. So this is a Jolly Logic shoot release. Um, I guess technically this is an unboxing. Um, so it comes with a manual. Oh, it's actually quite small. Also, same exact charging cable. Nice. So oh, that's a problem with no fingernails. Okay, so... You can set the shoot release from anywhere from 100 to, well, it looks like the case can come off even. Hmm, interesting. So here's the charging port, same sort of setup. Um, from what I understand, you have a rubber band that holds the shoot on here. It comes with pins that go in the little spot here, rubber bands. So there's more underneath the tray here. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so you got a variety, a couple different sizes, looks like. It's nice that it comes with a whole bunch of rubber bands. That's very cool. Comes with spare rubber bands, and it even comes with tethers. So let's see what we got here. All right, so that was your left button. You can change the altitude. Right button, raise the altitude. Tells you what the battery level is. Tether point, and it comes with tethers, which is nice. Uh, very nice manual. Walks you through the whole process of what to, how to set it up. Recommendations, larger bands, small bands. So... Looks like it'd be pretty interesting. I 
It, does, it has a replaceable battery. Uh, you can get replacements from Jolly Logic it's on their website. You charge it from any, pretty much look like any, any USB charger. Okay, fits in a model rockets as small as 38 in diameter. If packed carefully, so that would be, uh, I'd say BT-60 is probably your smallest chute. Now, this looks like it would fit in a BT-55, but you've got everything else you're packing around there. So, I, in fact, yeah, because BT-55 is, I think, 33 millimeters. So, it looks like it would fit in BT-55, but uh, with all the other stuff you're packing in there, probably not. So, it looks like BT-60 is going to be your minimum. All right. So I'm looking forward to getting out. It's really windy here, so I haven't had a chance to do any launching. Uh, but I'm looking forward to getting out, taking advantage, checking out these two things. All right. Well, as usual, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. And if you have any questions, just put them in the comment section. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's reboxed. All right. Thanks a lot.